Thank you for letting me know. Yes. Merry Christmas. Oh, man. This is not the way I wanted to start Christmas morning. How can I break this news to the kids? This should be a happy moment. Tearing open presents, rippling through stockings, stealing their first sips of Mommy's special coffee. But no. How do you look them in their tiny, joyful eyes and explain that Grandma got run over by a reindeer? I'm sure they'll have questions. Is it because she drank too much eggnog? Did Santa do this? Is it because of her unsettled gambling debts? I can only assume the answer to all those questions is yes. That underground bingo ring must have had a special request on their wish list this year. Oh, and the timing couldn't be worse. Just this month, I'd finally had to admit to Madison that Santa was imaginary. Well, now this clearly isn't true. How do I explain that actually Santa is real and guilty of vehicular homicide? The poor kid won't know what to believe. Soon she'll think that the moon landing was a hoax or that a pizza parlor is the headquarters of a secret child sex trafficking ring. Man, this is going to be another tooth fairy fiasco. Well, look on the bright side. You know, maybe this is a learning experience for the kids. I always feared Glenda was a bad influence on them. I mean, she forcefully broke the sugar-free upbringing we'd agreed to raise the children by. You know, so many cookies and cakes. She was always baking. When she babysit, she let them stay up late and drink as much cream soda as they could slam down. You just try to get a six-year-old to drink coconut water after that. And then there was the time she OD'd in an IHOP bathroom and Jackson had to perform CPR on her. Poor kid. You know, maybe it's for the best. I mean, heck, this is how little Dax said Grandma was going to die. Who said he saw it clear as day. Grandma cleaved clean and twain, her face pocked by hoof marks. The boy does seem to have the gift. And this could be a big boost to his confidence. I mean, his second grade teacher did say he was always lacking confidence. And maybe if I praise him enough, it'll be enough to keep me on his good side at the off chance he does turn out to be a violent telepathic freak. Maybe this is going to be an alright Christmas after all. Grandma getting run over by that reindeer might be the best thing that ever happened to us. In-laws. Am I right? Don't stop!